Hello, beautiful multi-dimensional beings, star seeds, light warriors incarnated. Welcome back or hello if you're new to another channel reading a message for you beautiful souls. You guys, you guys, you guys, of course, you are the multi-dimensional beings. I say this all the time. That's why I greet you that way. You guys are the multi-dimensional beings of the collective. You are connected to the subtle energy realms past the veils you're connected to your subconscious mind you are powerful powerful healers subconsciously and consciously you're powerful energy healers energy readers you have a heightened connection to self your emotions you feel things very vividly you feel things very deeply and you notice deeper things as well in life and we said this as well you have the gift of noticing but the thing is, you guys, um, this reading is really pertaining to, yeah, your shamanic and your healing nature. Um, and because it's really revolved around this element that, uh, you know, we have these different groups or these different areas or aspects. You guys being a healer, we have like mind, body, soul aspects. You're energetically healing. Your auric field is healing. Your frequency is. But this is revolved around this aspect that you have a lot of gifts you have a lot of gifts when it comes to perceiving deeper into energy within yourself or within others. You have a gift of the mind. Uh, you're, you have a gift of being able to connect to deeper realms in the mind or the heart and emotional levels. You guys, because how this is coming through is that with the channel message got wrote down here like always uh but we feel things in all different frequencies so if something happens remember in the multiverse there is every layer of dimensional plane of frequency a different vibrational aspect of ourselves all happening simultaneously and these different vibrational layers are inside of us they're between the chakra systems okay all of this multiverse of dimensions and frequencies that all exist literally within and inside of you and so when a situation happens all of our aspects feel it and we feel it in all different layers of frequency and all different layers and levels as well that's why on this journey of ascension every time we ascend to a new frequency or we move into a new vibrational plane there is always alchemy healing and understanding to be done there because every situation we've been through has happened in every single timeline in a different type of way okay in this way of every single timeline having a different frequency of storyline the storyline that we can perceive a situation from so the same situation can happen and it has infinite storylines of perspective um and truth in every single vibrational layer and not only that but the deeper we go the higher we go, the more we're feeling the subtle energies that are, were erosion from a situation. So if we're operating from a lower plane of vibration, the storyline that we see the situation with, we're going to, only going to have access to certain perspectives, views on that situation, and also connected to particular emotions of that that maybe aren't so subtle. So what this really is about is like, again, we feel things in all different frequencies. The difference is, you guys, is that by having this situation, right, by having this situation where there's multiple different storylines to the same situation, ultimately our body and our vessel is going to resonate um, or condense down into one of them, meaning one of them is going to be the most prominent in feeling to us. And in this way, it's interesting because we feel things in all different aspects, but the frequencies of a situation can be alchemized in different ways. So, for example, someone could have a situation happen that makes them feel sad, but they could alchemize that into anger by flicking into an ego aspect of protection of self. Therefore, they experience anger as their associated emotion to that situation, not sadness. However, sadness is the core emotional frequency, but they can become disconnected from that. What I'm trying to say in this reading, you guys, is that you're connected to your core root source of emotions. So again, everything happening at all different frequencies, but there is this sense of how emotional responses are filtered through the aspects that we become in operation of. So you guys are connected to your core root emotions 
and or emotional frequencies and that's why you understand the self to a deeper level because we feel things in different layers as if we feel our emotions and our emotions are processed um, and can shift and reform depending on what aspect we're operating from okay and we always flick into the aspect of self that most benefits the self and we can or people can often flick into the ego because what is the ego but the protector, okay? The ego is the protector. And so by alchemizing sadness or pain into anger, hate, or um, judgment, things like this, it actually protects the self emotionally. But this is not the core root of emotion. But we get fooled or people get fooled into thinking, you know, that's their general root of emotion. You guys are connected to the core root of your emotions, meaning that even if energy from situations get alchemized through an ego aspect or through a wounded aspect or a particular frequency not only can you be aware of what emotions you're experiencing you're actually still aware of the running the deeper running storyline of what that is playing out to be say something happens you can have multiple different storylines of emotional experience this is what we're saying about the storylines because the ego storylines would be very objective and um, shifting, okay? They've done this, they've done this, they made me feel this way. Whereas there's another storyline that, there's, more, there's so many storylines, you're tapping into storylines from many different frequencies. So although you can be aware of the storyline that you're currently feeling, you can also tap deeper into the deeper storyline that is a, a more vulnerable layer or level of the self. It's the core of root emotions. It's when we get to that core, um, deeper emotional storyline that is closer connected to the self the inner child or our vulnerability right our heart space and so you can see a situation for that or you can see things as actually this made me feel really sad it made me feel um this type of way and that triggered my inner child and made me feel this way which is a reflection of situations in my past right is a deeper running storyline you are connected to this and why this is really relevant is because source being the core emotions root emotion that you're connected to you can follow your emotional responses or processes back to their root and in this way meet yourself in a deeper more authentic way because energies like we say can be processed in order for what's best of the self in that moment so our ego is our protector aspect like we said and if it's activated in a situation it will process feelings into protective frequencies like we said sadness into anger or hate so also you see into others root emotions this is the point we're getting to you guys is that this is almost as well it's not i know we used ego as an example but it's not just the ego that this, this can happen with many emotions can be filtered into secondary emotions okay in 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 many ways for different reasons but getting back to the core source this is what you guys are connected to and to do that you do in a lot of situations have to see things more objectively separated from the ego or the protective self. So it's like you have this sense of being vulnerable and honest with yourself. And yet you can also see others deeper processes of emotions that are this more vulnerable side to them. So, right. So in this way, you understand others to this deeper, more vulnerable level. However, sometimes people can struggle to separate what emotion they're experiencing from its root and can't see or resonate with the deeper emotional storyline at play so what this is saying is that you guys are always perceiving people in situations from this deeper level storyline this more vulnerable level of storyline authentic level of storyline that is maybe a bit more detached from secondary emotional processings and more about the root core emotions that situation are activating or people are activating right um because the mind is very complex right let's say someone you see someone and they're jealous of somebody right it's like that's a kind of secondary emotion for um maybe sadness to the self or lack to the self or disbelief in the self right um because we're projecting and it's like it all gets paradoxical because energies can be alchemized into different ways and 
This happens very quickly and it can be hard to actually trace energies back to their energetic root. And you guys are able to follow energies back to their root. So say if there is a situation and you see someone who's maybe um, triggered into a certain emotional state, that's what they're experiencing. But there's a deeper storyline of reasoning behind that to the trail of triggering to what the emotions have snowballed into or the complex or the programming loops that have been created from a deeper core root. And this deeper core root is the subconscious programming. The conscious mind almost reacts and responds and feels things in a slightly distorted way or alchemized way, right, than the subconscious. The subconscious really is the core root, the, the root programming system. And it can be translated to very abstract when we're in physical situations, yet you can still pinpoint and follow that energy trail back down to the root you can still see maybe deeper meaning or reasoning what's really going on behind certain people um that they might not even understand within themselves and that's why i'm saying is that not everyone's going to always resonate with the deeper emotional storyline because they're not always actually aware of that deeper emotional storyline within themselves. They're either not aware or they're not ready to accept because it takes a vulnerability to accept and a lot of removing of the ego, okay? Because the ego's like, no, of course I don't feel that way because the ego doesn't want to be lower than anyone and it has itself in this mindset of, you know protective mode that's why but you guys always perceiving people and situations from this deeper level um so you can you can notice people's blind spots in this way and so you could notice or see in others okay and that they cannot connect to and feeling inside themselves so you can notice things in others that they seemingly are disconnected from inside of themselves but um like we say, they were also won't always admit or even resonate that they feel or show up in a way that you see it as. This can cause disagreements sometimes, you guys, that maybe in the past, maybe this is coming up because it's happened in the past for you. And this is like confirmation because obviously truth's different in different layers or levels of frequency and you're connecting to a deeper truth or this kind of... Um, more vulnerable, deeper soul truth or storyline in situations. And this can cause disagreement sometimes because people are not always going to see it from that level of storyline um, or even want to resonate with that or even emotionally connect with that. Um, but it doesn't mean that you are wrong. You're highly intuitive. And even though people kind of play things down or say like, no, I definitely don't feel that way. And they can deny things and reject it off and put and push it away. That's the ego trying to protect. You guys are connected to this deeper level of um, emotion and emotional understandings um, in people, how they're showing up or situations, but also with yourself. Like we say, everything's a reflection, whether we're, this message is about the self, whether it's about other people, whether it's about situations, we're all consciousness interacting with consciousness and that is why it's so beneficial you see people's blind spots you see people's roots into their subconscious programmings and so you're seeing others for their subconscious so you're almost seeing others sometimes in a light they can't see themselves in or to a level of depth that they can't connect to within themselves and that is the bittersweet of the mind is that it cannot see its own nose you guys the mind cannot see its own nose and we often have many many blind spots you are a reflection of others blind spots and it is very very powerful okay but in the way you see others blind spots actually allows you to see your own okay that's really powerful because you use and understand consciousness interacts with consciousness. We are all a reflection of the self. So in, 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 in this process of observing in others subconscious programmings that they are unaware of or cannot perceive in themselves, you are uh, uh, noticing and observing subconscious programming 
uh, matrixes that are not just relevant to that person, but consciousness as a whole and the collective as a whole. And not only, it's not just other people that have blind spots, we all do. And so by you being able to see into other people's and feel into other people's blind spots by observation, actually allows that to be a reflection back to the self for you to see maybe some of your blind spots. And this is why you guys were on a very accelerated, expanded um, being and people notice this when they meet you because you do work in your blind spots you do work on a deeper subconscious soul level that's very vulnerable and actually reprograms your subconscious mind not just your conscious mind okay you're getting to the root of things and you know um, this is very, very, very powerful, you guys, that you're able to do this because not everyone's able to see their blind spots or see blind spots in other people. Not everyone's able to connect to the deeper root emotional storyline that is occurring. Emotions are very hard to navigate and they can be very, very complex. You know, let's say like we took, for example, earlier jealousy or uh, anger. Someone literally might not be able to see that any, any other way than what it is. They cannot see or perceive or resonate with that in any other way than the emotion they're experiencing no i'm not sad i'm angry that's what someone might say right whereas you'd say if you were eventing to someone you'd be like i'm angry but i know deep down it's because i'm hurt right that's the difference and so it's very very important because to the friends the family you come across um you know whether you are pointing this out in conversation and having this bouncing growth of um, conversation with others, of pointing out their blind spots, bringing them to light within themselves. Sometimes people are so here for that. If someone came to me and was like, whoa, do you know what? I noticed this um, in you or whatever. It's like, we can't always take in other people's projections and truth, but at the same time, I'm always open to other people's um, perceptions of self because we do have blind spots and we can't always see the self um, as clearly as we think and so that would be so beneficial and I would be welcoming that but some people again the ego wants to protect does not want someone else coming in and telling them about themselves because they think they know the self because I am the self but we can be the self and not connect to the self you know what I mean the self being the emotions self being the subconscious mind self being your emotional connecting connection to your soul and spirit and so um a lot of people maybe get triggered or offended when we come in and uh, maybe we notice some things and this is why as a light worker you're a healer because you either trigger or you activate and illuminate in others and they either welcome that illumination or they you don't welcome the illumination, it triggers them, but in a way it still triggers them into this activated reflection, or we can push away, that's really their free will, you guys, um, you are not here to heal everyone, even though we talk about you guys being healers and shamans, is that this is not something that is strenuous, it's something that comes naturally by the way that your mind works, and you show up in your reality just naturally as yourself the things that you notice and observe right this is like you don't have to try to be this healer it is literally in your blueprint it's in your blueprint it's in the way that your mind works it's in the things you observe it's in the ways that you operate it's in the ways that you feel it's in the frequencies that you radiate it's in the air around you you guys um that's why I say it's like not necessarily our job to really drill into people it's just that these are just light observations that can come up in conversation that are extremely powerfully illuminating for other people and some of you maybe you are tarot readers or your energy readers or your healers and uh, practitioners of some kind um maybe you guys it's that you're doing subconscious channeling with others by observing them so you could have friends or family or people in your reality who you are like a spirit guide for and you channel with their higher self um what i find is interesting people channel with your higher self a lot and sometimes they notice this like some people might even say to you right um but you come through telepathically very strong there's something about you coming through telepathically to people right now interacting with their inner monologue at a level that has not been before like this is very amplified this is very strong and you're channeling with others what you notice you go on thought trails about in your head that is a thought loop of reflection package that then you've integrated into the into the astral people also go on those thought trails so you're almost mapping out the subconscious for specific people 
And that is actually changing them because what you observe changes. Uh, energy that's observed is changed. So if you're observing into people's subconsciouses, this is impacting it in some way, shape or form. Because remember, we're all the self. Everything and everyone is the self. Um, there's no such thing as separation. There's no such thing as, oh, I'm messing with someone's mind. No, the conscious mind, like the subconscious mind and the conscious mind, it's all one shared space. Um, there's not like someone else's mind and then our mind. Inside, we're all connected right it's all the same point of quantum space in the mind it's just that we sit in different vibrational spaces in that realm and so we'll cross with maybe different energies of people and some people might be uh in states of conscious vibration that maybe you don't enter in the mind so much maybe you don't connect with them in the astral but in general we have consciousness evolving consciousness through each other and through the self so yeah, this is very, very priceless gift that is so healing because in life we are on journeys to understand the self, i.e. consciousness. And consciousness is a reflection between all of us. So it's a vice versa understanding of self and understanding of others. Okay, um, that is actually illuminating the corners of the, the mind that cannot be seen so easily. So you are able to see blind spots of yourself and of others. And by seeing it in others allows you to meet it in yourself better as well. Very highly self-aware, you guys. Um, you see in others what they feel is missing right? That came through really strong. So you see in others what they feel is missing from them. You see it in them. Um, and you see the complexities, the loops, the cycles, the programming systems that can be deeper at play that people are unaware of whilst they're operating in them. And I find that really interesting. I find it interesting because it's like, why do we know this if people are not... Um, Oh, <laughs> what? Sorry, that, that loop really cracked me up. Why do we know this if people are not receptive? Um, it's that this is much deeper than conscious acknowledgement in the moment. There's a lot of subconscious and subliminal um, work that's going on in this way. And ultimately, you're noticing p things in others that they're not always ready to acknowledge in themselves. And that's okay, too, because what you notice in others isn't always for their benefit. It's for yours as well, because remember, by seeing others' blind spots, we see our own. So the things that you pick up in others, you know, it's really separate to having to intertwine with their journey. It's really separate to if they listen or not. It's really that we gain so much through others, whether that impacts their journey or not, we can take it for our own, you know? We can see that as a reflection of self. Um, we can utilize that information um, in a deeper in a, in a deeper way, which you guys do. So yeah, that is the reading for you, beautiful souls. That is what is coming through for you. I'm gonna pull one card out of here to clarify your message. Oh, that one like jumped in the air. Inspiration. Begin now. You guys, wow, look at this fire energy that you're integrating through your crown chakra. This is life force energy, phoenix energy, swans. Oh, do you know who you guys have also been working with? We're going to have to leave that for another reading now. Uh, Aphrodite has been coming through and so has Bridget. And there's certain animal spirits they're connected to that they have been bringing through to you. Um, and color frequencies too. Look, this dark green, these like autumnal oranges, uh, whites, um, this kind of wintry autumnal energy, but also like this bright light of fire or igniting. And also like crystals, like I haven't worn this crystal in ages. It's beautiful. And it just felt so ignited to wear it. I'm pretty sure this is orange orange calcite i don't know anyway 18 begin now there's many things that you are going to start beginning direction wanted to come out with bottom deck energy already direction where are you heading okay so you're getting inspiration look at that fire like we said fire energy transformation transformation through transmutation transformation through transmutation is what's happening in your energy right now and it's creating inspiration for a new direction or progression through a particular direction um, of energy wow anyway we're gonna leave the reading here because there's a it's starting to bring out other messages but we that is the point for you guys beautiful souls today you are healers and you are 
um oh <laughs> you are healers and you are connecting to the blind spots within the subconscious and by connecting with them you're activating them they are no longer blind spots because once light and awareness is brought to the dark it then becomes activated and so the more you're activating the more you're able to perceive the more you're able to move and spread out into the more expanded your sense of self internally becomes um, so the more corridors you're walking in and activating, the more space there is internally. And you're creating this beautiful sense of expanded self within that is creating frequencies that are very encompassing. Everything called that once type of energy, connections from here, there, everywhere, like that are very expanded out on this big framework of understanding. So I love you all so much. I can't wait to see or speak to you all in the next reading. I'm sending you all the love, all the light energy in the astral. And I can't wait to connect with you guys in the astral as well, my beautiful soul tribe. Um, and I'll see and speak to you all next time. Mwah.